Ciao everybody, this is Matteo from Milan, Italy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today's project is going to be a little um, crazy because uh, I left you uh, with my last video where I made um, a booklet that was not my thing because it was irregular, because it was uh it was totally out of the box for me so today i went back to my thing and i made this booklet and i hope that you can see that there is a lot of gold in it and the gold is also inside on every single page and i have chosen this time to make um, to make the booklet with a base of wood. So, we are going to see how to do this and at the end of the video I have to say that there was a little accident because while I was taking the booklet to, to, sh to, to show the final reveal I realized that some of the cardboard was torn apart because there were some droplets of glue that I didn't notice and that broke the paper and I hid those um, those spots making these pockets. I don't know if you can see that there is a pocket here and I have made two triangles right here. Anyway, so this is um, a very precise booklet with all of these gold stains on every single page and now let's go see how to make this little book of gold splashes. So let's start from the very beginning. I have here a very beautiful and super white Fabriano paper and now I am going to cut it into rectangles and I'm going to make my signatures for our project. So let's take our scissors and start cutting it. So now I have made these irregular rectangles and I'm going to fold them into Okay, and start preparing the signatures and since the, um, the cardboard is really thick, the signatures are going to be made with two sheets only. So this is going to be one signature and that is it. So one is ready and let's move on with the other ones. Okay, now I have my irregular rectangles, my irregular uh, signatures and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim them to have a perfect rectangle. So let's do it. So here we are, as you can see, I have my uh, signatures, they are precise this time, I had to redeem myself after <laughs> the last video. So I am going to unfold them and lay them on my table, I don't know if you can see that my table is completely covered in plastic because now I'm going to use uh, acrylic paint because I want all of these uh, papers to be stained with golden acrylic paint. I have to say that I have tried to apply the gold leaf but it was a huge incredible and never-ending mess so I wanted it to be gold but uh, I went for the, the gold paint which is easier so let's go on unfolding our signatures all over the table 
Okay, so now let's get ready with the paint. So I'm going to take my uh, deep gold number 803 from Amsterdam. Okay. And now I am going to dilute it with a lot of water. Okay, so it seems that our metallic paint is diluted enough. It seems to be pretty liquid. Let's make sure that there are no clumps because we only have to leave some stains on our pages. So now I can remove the protective paper and start making some drops of paint fall on the pages. Okay, and now we let it dry. So this is the final result. I hope that you can see the shine of the gold. Now what I want to do is to soak every single piece in hot tea that I have prepared. So I just want to make sure that every single piece of paper gets really soaked. And now here we have our signatures. I hope that in daylight you can see the shine of the gold stains. And as always in camera, it is very difficult to show how shiny the gold paint is. So everything is tea dyed, everything is precise, everything was ironed to make it flat again. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clamp these signatures to hold them still. So let's put them in a correct position. So one. And two. Okay. And I'm going to draw five lines to have my punching points. So one, two, three, four, and five. Unclamp it all and let's take our cork mat and one by one we are going to punch the holes where we left the mark. Okay, and do it with all of the signatures. So here we have now our signatures that have been um, pierced. And now it's time to sew. I have prepared my needle with my waxed linen thread. And let's start sewing the signatures together. You have seen me do this so many times in my previous videos. So, let's start with the sewing of this. 
and as usual I am going to leave a little tail so that I will be able to tie a knot when I come back to the starting point. Okay, so now we are ready to tie a knot. Let's make a double knot so that we are going to be sure that nothing is going to move from here. Okay, so the first signature was done. And now we are ready to move to the second one. So let's enter the first hole, align it as precisely as you can. Let's go out from the second hole. Let the thread go under the thread of the first signature. Let it go up again. And re-enter the same hole. Okay, let's do the same thing with the third hole. So let's make the thread go below the thread of the first signature so that the two signatures are going to be perfectly anchored to one another. And make the thread go up again and re-enter the third hole and do the same thing with the fourth hole. Once you are here, you go under the thread of the first hole and you tie a knot. And that is it. And you can, you have to continue doing the same thing with all of the other signatures. So let's get to it. So I have finished stitching. I have uh, trimmed the excess of the thread. So what I'm going to do now is to clamp the book. And I am going to spread some wood glue on the spine to make everything nice and sturdy. So let's do it. Okay. So let's take our brush. Okay, I want to be a little more generous with the wood glue because I want the spine to be super sturdy. And now, like I always do, 
I'm going to put a piece of fabric right here. Okay, just make sure that I have spread glue everywhere without missing any spot. Okay, so let's take a piece of fabric. So let's try to have it of the same measure of the book or even a little smaller. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, and I am going to add some more wood glue on the fabric too. So I just want to try to clamp the fabric here and here. Okay. Okay, it seems nice. So let's make the wood, uh, uh, sorry, let's make the wood glue uh, dry and then we will make the cover. So it's time to take care of the cover. I have this very resistant paper bag that I was given by my friend Colorini. And I'm going to glue it so that it's going to be doubled. And let's fold it in two and let's make it as flat as possible and we set this aside guess what to dry okay so the Mod Podge has dried and now I just want to make sure that the writings right here are going to be hidden so I am putting some gesso on them and we let the gesso dry so now the gesso has dried finally and I'm going to start with a coat of white acrylic paint that I am going to spread all over the surface. And we let it dry. Okay, now I have my uh, paintbrush still uh, dirty with white paint and I take this uh, gold ochre number 231 and I am going to dilute it as I did with the with a gold paint for the pages so I want it to be very liquid it's going to be a little clearer because there is still some white in here okay maybe a little more water because I want it to be more liquid because I want to see the puddles okay great so let's go and let's start putting this paint on the surface Okay, and we just let it dry. Okay, now the yellow paint is not completely dried yet, but I want to add a darker color, which is 409 Umber. What is this? Burnt Umber. Here it is. So, like I have already done, I'm going to dilute this color too. Okay. 
Okay, and we let it dry. Okay, and now I want to add another darker color, which is this Van Dyke Brown number 403. And as you can see, I have tilted the, um, the paper while it was um, under the hair dryer and it left these trails that I like very, very, very much. So now I'm going to add this super dark brown that I am very fond of. I like it very much. It's a lot of layering colors, but I like it. Okay, and let's go to the hair dryer. So, uh, before everything dries out, the last step, I want to add also on this cover some golden splatters and I'm going to dilute the color just like I did for the pages. Okay, and now we go back to the hair dryer and this is the final result. I hope that you can see how much the gold is shining and I love it. It reminds me of um, some Egyptian ancient paper or an ancient map or something like that. Anyway, I really, really, really love it. And now all we have to do is to put the book together. So let's do it. So this is our booklet, which actually matches this, um, this cover. And what I want to do is to glue these parts. This is actually wood. Uh, I think the correct name of this is mesonite or mesonite, I don't know. Anyway, it is uh, layers and layers and layers of pressed wood and this is going to be the base of my book. So what I'm gonna do is to start with some wood glue. I want it to be in the center so that it gets the best of the of the decoration, of the random decoration. So let's start from the center and put a fair amount of wood glue on the three pieces. So this is the spine, the central spine. Okay. Let's spread this glue as best as we can. I want to be rather generous with this. Okay, so let's glue this down. Oops! I knew I had to make pressure, but not that much. Okay, and now let's glue down these two sides also. Okay, so so we are back, the wood glue has dried and now I'm going to trim some of the excess of this paper. Okay, so now I am going to take the wood glue, I am going to take, oops, sorry, I 
I've made a mess. My bone folder that is nowhere to be found, so I'm going to use the smaller one, okay? It is just okay. Oh, I have to trim the corners too. Okay. And now let's start gluing the, the cover inside. Let's take some parchment paper to protect the table. Because I know that we're just about to have glue all over the table. Okay, so... Let's spread it. And let's fold it inwards. Okay. And let's do the same thing on the other side too. Okay, so our next step is to take some measurements because I have prepared these cardboards that I have stained with some uh, brown paint. So I want my packet of cigarettes right here. Okay, so that I can start to see the shape of the book. And I'm going to place the book where it will be. Perfect. So, well, I have to trim a lot of it. So I have to take this measurement and then we will glue it down. So I'll trim the paper and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have taken a measurement that should be more or less correct. So I am going to protect the second page of the book and I'm going to put some wood glue on this page and I'm spreading it okay and now I'm going to make these two pages match do they match Yes, they do. Thank God. Okay, now let's try to remove this paper without making another mess. Okay. I would say the measurement was rather precise. Thank God it was. And now what we have to do, okay, let's wait for this to dry. And once it will be dried, we will close our book and glue this page too. Okay, and here we have our booklet. I think it turned out really, really, really well. There is just one last thing I want to do. I want to put some of the acrylic golden paint on my finger and rub it on the edge of the pages so that they also have a shine okay so not very much just a tiny drop of it which is easier said than done okay Ooh, that's a lot of shine. And here we are. So the book is basically finished. I added some dark stains here and there. I hope that you can see the glare of the gold. But during the drying process, there was a little accident because there were some um, droplets of glue 
that I didn't notice at the beginning, and this is what happened. So there was an accident here, and there was another accident here and here. So I have prepared these little cardboards, and I have made this rectangle and a triangle, which will become pockets. So I'm going to glue these down, and then our booklet will be finished. And we are back. Now we have our booklet with our almost invisible pockets. And just look at how beautiful it is. I am very in love with this booklet. It's very vintage, it's very goldish and I like it so very much. So tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up and see you very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.